What was your oh. agenda, Tommy, when you started looking into the case further? Like, what was your plan of action? Because you've never really done anything like this, where people say you're against Muslims, this and that, but then you stood at the forefront with the only man who says, this guy is innocent. Like, what I was your not, plan? I think I walked in and see your kids, kids as well. Yeah. I walked in and I, I've got... My, did, I, make I, you, did you say a bit of your life in that? Yeah, yeah, it did. I see the fact that I get called things, I get called a racist, labelled a racist, and I see the damage that's done to my children and in their social circles, in school, um, when Black Lives Matter blew up, my daughter had a terrible year due to the accusations of racism, all these things. And I looked and see his kid, and then I sat for Jesus, like, because uh, knowing, knowing this girl's told multiple lies, yeah, this I'm sitting in his house with his family, their life's fucked. He's got all CCTV cameras that are in the lap, not, not put in the hallway. So my, I have cameras, they're not sat in, sat in, so I'm looking at them all day. So he sat there with them on the sofa, watching, here, knowing that they've been under attack. And then I looked at the kids and just thought, Jesus. And he'd left college, you'd left college, right? School had to leave due to everyone presuming his dad's a nonce. I thought about how difficult it must be for him and, and the kids. Yeah. I thought, Jesus, like your dad's being labelled as a paedophile off of a girl who has falsely accused multiple other men. Yeah. So straight and then and then I knew there was lots of discrepancies and I knew the family weren't telling the truth. El, this Ellie's family. The council, yeah, council one, one of them was councillor for Labour. Uh, Nan's in charge of ch charge of social services. Yeah. And, I, and so, but the husband, Ronnie, so I had someone following the husband. We were trying to locate him because they come out against me, the family did. Yeah. We don't want him here at the start. And I found that suspicious. So as I was looking and, 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 and I, walked, I walked out of it, one Muslim man's business, come out of his business. And he's, he's just told me. And when he turned up, he turned up with an English lad from London. And the lad goes, Tommy, I follow everything you do. This is when I first got to Barry. because I follow everything you do. Yeah. I, I respect the work you've done. Do you think I'll be sat in here with him? If he was a nonce, if he was a groomer, he goes, he ain't no groom buff. He goes, this is bullshit. What's going on here? So he told me that I'd heard. And then as I walked out the shop, another car pulled up. He goes, yes, Tommy. And that some lad jumped out. I said, all right, mate, how you doing? He goes, he goes, are you here for the Ellie thing? I said, yeah. He goes, yeah, I used to work with her. I said, what's she like? He goes, yeah, she's all right. He goes, but she went around telling everyone I was having sex with her. And I said, was well, you having sex with her? He went, no, I wasn't having sex with her. So I was like. Why? Okay, <laughs> this don't work, this don't work. Then I've gone and I'm trying to find someone else and we're waiting it. We've got a surveillance car outside someone's house. We're trying to track someone down. And then as I come out the side of the car, one of the women comes out of the house, says, Tommy, come here. And she said, what? She said, you're here for the Ellie thing. I said, yeah. She goes, my, my daughter's friends with her at school. She made serious allegations against someone else in her family, yeah? This is what the woman said. So I'm like, wow, right? So I, I knew straight away in those first few days that their life can't be destroyed based on what she said, yeah? So, and there still may be a risk she's a victim. Even when I sit in the house, I think there still may be a risk. I've still got a lot more questions to ask of a lot more people. But these kids' lives, the wife's life and his life can't be destroyed, yeah? And neither can these businesses be shut down off the back of it. So I was there trying to find the dad. I get a phone call saying, we've got the dad. We, we know it. he's in KFC car park. So I said, all right. So I say to Mo, I say, right, mate, I'm going. Yeah. I've got to go. Yeah. And I've only been in the house five minutes. And I record it. You know, yeah. I, I record everything. But yeah, yeah. But I didn't yeah, have yeah. cameras. Yeah. But I, called, I said, listen, give me five minutes. I'm off. Um, I'm going to shoot. And then I, I shoot and find him. And when I find him, I just ask him straight, when, when are you going to tell the truth? Like the whole country, not just the whole town's about a blow. You got two. You got people traveling here. It was the start of COVID. There's literally two thousand cars. Everyone uh, beeping from them. out of town. From out of town, from, from, people. Out of town. people People coming from everywhere, from everywhere. For, for a demonstration for this girl, which is based on bullshit. Yeah. So I, I've gone to the car park then where the demonstration, I've gone, I've gone and found the dad and said like, when are you going to tell the truth? And he said, no comment. And I said, oh yeah. What? I said, why, why, when are you going to tell the, the public the truth? All these people are up here. Yeah. There's a lot more going on than Muslim men have, have done this because, because for example, if these, if these falsely accused people before were all white men, yeah, you falsely accuse all these white men. Now it can't just fit because it's the accusation that it's Muslim men. Yeah, this can't just fit. No matter how much some people may want it to fit, this cannot be taken, or the word of her can't be taken. And I said, and you know she's falsely accused other people, so you know what's gone on, and you're not telling anyone. So then they had this justice friendly campaign. They raised twenty thousand pounds. Everyone's going mad. Maggie Oliver's come Maggie in. Maggie Oliver. Celebrities have all come in. Girl out of Coronation Street's come yeah, in. All yeah. these people are coming. All blown up. It. And then, and I just think, I think based on what, based on what I've found. And I find the dad and I say to the dad, because I'm reading statements as well. And in this, all the statements, some of Ellie's friends are again making accusations against the stepdad. Yeah? There's that, but then again, there's accusations everywhere. So Ellie is telling so many people so many different stories about how she's injured, about what's happened. And then, uh, yeah, I'll go find the stepdad and come back to your house. 
And um, who beat her up? Why did she have the bruises? She's on cat. She goes and buys a hammer during the day. She buys a hammer on CCTV. When she's beat up, they find a hammer. Yeah, so she's her, mentally it's only, her DNA. Her DNA. only her DNA. Only her DNA. Right next to her mum's house with the field. Uh, so what she's she psychotic found. then. Was it dad launching her? Well, no, you, again, I haven't said any, I haven't put forward other, there's lots of other allegations, but again, they're just hearsay or they're coming from her. Now, bearing in mind what she said about him, bearing in mind what she said about the other boys, you can't say what she, anything she said is you totally can't. unreliable. She, 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 was she on a home or anything? Was no? she, was her parents watching her? They must have knew that. Well, her mum's, she, her mum's a Labour councillor and her, and her nan's in charge of social services, children in, in, in Barrow. Her family... When like, did it start turning for you more? Like, when did you start believing, okay, that this things are starting to go in your favour? Well, the favour, did you read so when it was just January? January the 4th. Or when, actually, when the court, the trial took place. Just three weeks ago? So just, yeah, in uh, well, October. When the I, had put, I had put together, I was putting together everything. Please nick me. They gave me an order. I yeah. Can't, I, can't, I can't contact him. The basic gagged you. They gagged me. I can't they contact him. You. They named all these people I couldn't contact. All these, all these, I went loud into Cumbria. Yeah, they escorted me. When they let me go the next day, they give me a police escort. They followed me all the way out of Cumbria. I said, "What are you doing? Yeah? You're banned from Cumbria." So then, so then I was, I had to, I, I made a video. I said, "All I can say is things are not as they seem." Yeah. So I sort of like allow people to know there's bullshit going on up here. Yeah. But I weren't allowed to say anything else. So if I was allowed to do my report, which I was building and doing, I would have put out straight away saying, listen. That, that would have been 2020. Yeah. And from 2020, I think a lot of the trouble that we as a family have had and as a community we've had in 2021, 22, coming up to this, you know what, if he, if he, was, if he did what he was set out to do then, Tommy, would have, it would have probably made my life a lot easier. Because yeah. a, a lot of people who don't trust the system and don't trust the police will trust me in, in what I'm saying. And I can't say that that girl's not been a victim of abuse somewhere along the line some, by someone who knows who, yeah? Because her life's messed. It's, it's pretty strange when you go mm -hmm. through the history of it and what she's done and all the different mad stuff she's done. It's, and, and then to still now not come out and speak the truth. truth. It's like she's covering for someone. She's covering something, yeah? So, I, I'd say. And, and, the, and the mother. The look at the mother. The, the mother's still saying it. The mother's still saying it. But the mother's still saying he's, a, he's a, it's him. It's me. And the mother knows me. Uh, the grandmother knew me. The the auntie it was a one of our best friends, right? We were always together with the auntie in a sense, weren't we? Yeah. Nick, Nick and and you for years. And I, I used to go and seek advice of the grandma. I got I got a in her statement. She says that she was groomed when she started working at the Elephant, which he which Mo owned. Yeah. Yeah. So when I found her family, I the first thing I asked is, uh, where did Ellie work? What was her first job? And then blah blah blah. Did she work at the Elephant? And he said. No, she's never worked at the Elephant. Like she, she's a girl who's lived with her mum and dad her whole life. Yeah, They'd know if her first job was at his restaurant. Restaurant, yeah? exactly. They'd know. And I said, so now I thought, well, that, even that ain't true. Yeah. So this ain't true, this ain't true, this is a lie, this is a lie. And then, do you know what I realised as well, how dangerous, or the power of the media? Yeah. Because there was enough there that I could have put together a report that made it look like it's him. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Made it look like yeah, there yeah, is yeah, a cover we, yeah. yeah. Some people are still doing that now. I just watched a video, you, you sent yeah. me it, a video of someone, a, a, a Red Pill Red Phil, Phil, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is making videos accusing Jordan, the boy who was falsely accused, accusing all of them. All of them. So yeah. implying that there's this big cover-up going on without knowing one single detail of this case. But I've read all of the details of this case. Mm -hmm. Lots of people pumped it. Maggie Oliver pumped it. They didn't even, they did, they're only an hour up the road. They didn't even go and contact the people. No. Even though they knew there was false claims, they still stood by the case. Now, I, now this is the mad thing. So when the police went into... When the police arrested her for the arrested Jordan Trengrove, when they went into her house when she was laying on the floor, it, they took her phone. And this is how manipulative it is. They took her phone, and on her phone, in her deleted file, she had messages from Rami. Yeah? So I could have took that with the statement which I've got from the copper, which I've read to you. I went yeah, to your yeah, house to yeah. question you about yeah. this. So I went and said, what's this thing? Because I've got this which mentions you before. Yeah? What they also found is... Madly, they also found love, uh, letters. Letters. <laughs> letters. Yeah, yeah, letters. letters to say that you'd wrote to her. But, yeah, say that he'd wrote to her from when he was in jail. He hasn't been in jail. Uh, Durham. Durham. Durham so they're prison. saying I was in Durham prison at the time, but mm. I fucking wasn't. Well, the handwriting experts, it's, my, it's her writing. She'd wrote herself letters. She says he stole her kid that she's never had. had. I was going to sell him, my basic. One of the letters it indicates that I was going to sell him, sell him to somebody in Pakistan and it would have made mine and her life. We would have been sorted. 
is this, she must have mental health problems. She had mental health reports. Like she's psychotic. I asked, I asked man, like, that, that. I asked or else somebody's telling her to do this, or she's deflecting away from somebody. Some, that's that's. Well, you, you, that's I don't think we're at the bottom of what's going on. No. I don't think I the police are. Are you going to keep working on it until you find out, or uh, you, you had enough? No, I've still got a lot of questions. To a ask. lot of questions. I think. So yeah. who, will she ever speak to you, that girl? Who knows? How old is she now? Twenty-two. Two. And she's just been charged with. Uh, nine, the course nine, of justice. Nine, nine, nine counts of preventing the course of justice. And one of the charges, she pleaded guilty mid trial. Mid trial, she uh, basically they arrested the mother because there was evidence that got released. So the judge was basically given order. A mum knew, yeah? Yeah, a mum knew. Mum knew, knew 100%. Mum knew. I, I she works say, for the Labour Party. She, she works been for the Labour Party. You know what? I, any other, I've, I've got uh, the uh, actor Zaman, the mayor of Bolton, is a good family friend. Right, I know councillors all over the world, country, and I've asked every single body, and I put loads of complaints in regarding it. If this was any other town or any other council, would have what would have happened to you? They said we would have been suspended instantly. Mate, there's a hell of a lot going on in Barrow. Yeah, I yeah. Start, started looking at the charities that are linked to the family. Family, yeah. It's like it seems like it's a closed web. Yeah, it's been under lockers. Making a lot of money. Well, it's been under lockers for years. Look, that's what I've started looking at. Is what's going on in this town? How has this happened? What, there's funding like the million pound was given to a charity yeah. that the nans on the, on, on the, the trustee. Tr tr trustee and Why you though? Why did they throw you under the bus? Why were you targeted? Was yeah. there a connection? Is it got to do with your businesses? Is that because like, yeah? Because when I because when I got into the ice creaming, uh, we started to we applied for the tra street trading license and stuff. And the reason they refused me, okay, I've got a bit of a history, so I, I, my DBS wouldn't have come clear, so I didn't apply for it. My partner applied for it, and my cousin that's done ice creaming for 35 years in Wigan, and he gets a Wigan Street Trading Licence every year, and he's been doing it for 35 years. They own the Manfredi Dairy in Bolton, right? They've got about, we've got about 30 ice cream vans. And these two applied for the licence, and you know the Barrow Town Hall? Refused the licence under the basis of you're, you're affiliated with Mohammed Ramzan. And this was done in 2016 and 2017. W what have I done? What what does that mean? What does that mean? Because she's my partner. Or as in, to me, it comes two things. Either you've got a problem with an Asian man coming and doing the ice cream, but you didn't have a problem when I was had the bigger businesses and I was paying uh, 70 odd thousand pound business rates. I was paying 30 odd thousand in the George. You didn't mind then. But now I've come into that's not. But I'm, um, I, I don't know. But there, there is something in that town hall that wasn't right. Yeah, and so, see your mental health as well. You're not hitting yourself with bottles and suicidal as well. Yeah, yeah that's, I did. When did that take its toll on you? And that took me toll when I found my son. Actually, the build up of it, and he was he was he started self farming because he was getting abuse in college, and he was getting abuse on the van. He didn't tell me. I thought no problem. So then I got arrested, and now a week or two before he, we're dealing with my son in this state, then they arrested me seven seven nine nineteen. Then two weeks later, you know, he's, he had a meltdown and he just didn't want to be there. And his dad, let's move. Nicola's there. My mate Jonathan's there. And we're just like, and that was it. And seeing him, that, you know, going back and I just felt like I've, what have I done? You know, I've, I've, I've brought my kids to my life. I've, you know, I've, I've missed out on for the last four years, five years when I got married again, when I got with Nicola. I've, I've lost out in their life four or five years, which to me is my massive part. And I bring him here, and now what, what have I done to the kid? You know, what, what, why is he going through this pain? And that, to me, was it just made me feel shit, man. That, that was, that was, and that keeps getting to me. And then I just, I just went on, I went on war. I went on the battle. I just went, I went survival, really. It was survival. Then I, I'm not gonna, you know, your dad's been, that daddy been called a pedo. Daddy been called a pedo. That's what he said to me. And it hurts you when your son, you know, your oldest son is saying that. It's, it just, it does. It, and he's still, and now it, it was just, oh God, James, it was fucking horrible. And then I'm dealing with that and I've I got to be strong. I've got to deal with after my family, man. I've yeah. got to, you know, I've got to, to, to look after my respect. I'm, I'm from a good family. I'm Fair good play, man. mate. Even me just sitting, I can tell you're a good man. And like I say, you, you wouldn't burn this show and Tommy wouldn't be sitting with you if he, did, he thought you were guilty of oh. anything like that. Like you say, we've all got past. We've all done fucking stupid shit. We're yeah. not here about that. We're talking about a massive scandal that celebrities actually came and supported that. Like, have you yeah. guys ever had an apology from anybody? Not a single one. Well, the same, when I got to the town, the same person who was supporting it was telling everyone not to talk to me. So I'm there, said, we've been told not to, to talk to you. And I'm like, 
And I, and I, I don't know. I just said, all I want to do is find out what's going on and investigate what's going on. And that's it. And, and, and do you know, because then we found, because there was things that were adding, but like we found out that she'd been upstairs in above one of the restaurants, but you don't go through the restaurant to get to it with a Muslim male. Yeah. But then I found, so she's having sex with some Muslim males yeah, in the town. Now, then I'm thinking, right, is she a victim to these males? But then there's another Muslim male who's was found in bed with her one time. Yeah. And there's text messages going back and forward where she thinks she's pregnant and he's messaging her. And all of the evidence doesn't say that. It, it's him messaging her saying, I want to be a part of, of, of the life. If, if you've got my baby inside, you want to help you or one of this or one of that. So when you go through what's being said, there's nothing being said that would, that would give any evidence to the fact of, the, of what she's claiming. Least of all, again, least of all, I, the problem is, you see, if she hadn't falsely accused Jordan Trengrove and falsely accused a boy at school and falsely accused someone else, he's probably be in jail. I'd be wound up, 100%. They were, like you, they, were, they, were, they were trying to remind me that day. After that, they've had me 40 hours in questioning and I've gone in, I've, you know, it was disgusting. The questioning was disgusting. You know, I, I don't think that was professional, any of it. I mean, it's the, the lady officer turned around and she goes to me, how's your sex life with your partner? You, you use... You, I thought, what, what do you mean by use? You know, you like you, you, your. Then I said, what do you mean by use? You, you, you like younger girls, though, don't you? Your culture, your religion. I thought, well, no, hang on. What's that got to do with religion and culture? I said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm into me older women. I said, you know what? If I have an affair, I, I, and I did, you know what I said? I swear to God, this is just so God. I go, I, 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 I kind of, what's sort up? Of, fuck this. I'm, I'm not I'm listening to this. I'm not such sitting here listening to this. I swear, you know what, love? I think you're a bit frustrated, aren't you? I don't think, how's your sex like? Are you getting it at home? Then the male, male officer speaks up and he goes, you know, it's a bit inappropriate. I went, is it inappropriate? I said, the question you're fucking asking me aren't they inappropriate. I can't ask this. I said, you know what? I'll tell you something. And she goes, they thought, oh, he's going to confess something. I said, you know what? I, I was, if I did have an affair, it'd be probably with Nicola's mum, because I'm into me older women. I said, she's 80 odd now, so I'll probably be her next. Mm -hmm. and, and that was, that's what I had to do. That, that was just he, me. I come out of your house and said, like I said, when I walked out of his house, I said, he reminds me of himself. When I went through all the stuff he's done, because I thought that's how, it's, and, and I thought that's how he's dealing with it. Because like, I think this, these yeah. protests are going on, they're all calling him a accusing him of being a paedophile, he's gone down his ice cream van and put the ice cream van lights on as he's driving past, yeah. like waving that. Yeah, and yeah. we was at the M MEP elections. I got and jumped in the van. I thought, fucking Tommy, is he right? Is he right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to go and see him. <laughs> I see him loads of So I just put my jingle on, drove around and went back. <laughs> mm. But it makes you angry and you feel as if you've got to stand at the forefront to prove that Proof, yeah. you're innocent. Yeah. So if you cower away, then you're all, you're already defeated. You you may as well be in a fucking the nonsense wing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, How hard was it for you to see somebody who was innocent getting through under the bus well I yeah. does that ever make you question because you were at the forefront with grooming gangs yeah. like uh, and no, it, 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 it made you question things it definitely more? made me so previously to this i've done an investigation in telford where i spent 12 to 18 months with 12 girls yeah who were all been victims and i detailed their stories and only when the name men were named by three yeah did i go after the men right because i thought we've got victim a victim c victim f they don't even know each other they're all telling me that Bugsy, this man, has done this, this, and this, yeah? So then I know, because you, you can never, I, I could never go to a town, take one girl sitting here saying he's done this, because I don't know what mo motive she may have. I don't know what's happened, yeah, to, for her to be saying that. I can't go, and but it did make me even think more when I was sat in his house thinking, Jesus, bro, like, the effect of being labelled like this, yeah? yeah? The effect of being labelled like this, without a fair, without a trial, I said, so what he's faced is trial by public opinion. I face that all the time but not for nothing like this. No. Yeah. So no, I, I face that and I can still walk around, but would I be able to walk around with sexual allegations against me where not just, where everyone bought into them, where everyone believed I was a nonce because he's in his town where everyone believes he's a nonce. But then still a lot of people are still coming up to me saying, no, he, he fucking in. He's a lad, right? He's a jack, the lad. He sticks it in your face a bit. He's a hot, <laughs> that, that, that's, so I, I said, but that doesn't make him a child trafficker. Yeah. So when, even out when I sat with other people, yeah, but he's he, he's this and he's done this and he's and he's like this and this is sort. Of, I said that don't make him a paedophile.